Hello, my name is Abigail Finley. And growing up, I think I always knew I wanted to do something impactful with whatever career I decided to follow. I knew I wanted to do something that made a positive difference in other people's lives, but I always assumed it was going to be in a very big way. So I thought I was going to be like a rock star or like a famous actress and make millions of dollars. And then I would, you know, donate some of it to charity, or maybe I'd be like a very prominent political figure. But I definitely did not think I was going to pursue a degree in education. In fact, in the fourth grade, I had a teacher come up to me after a day of helping out younger grades. And she told me that I had done a really good job interacting with the younger students and that I should consider being a teacher one day. And I remember being just kind of like disgusted. <laughs> I did not understand why someone would want to spend like the entirety of their life in a classroom did not interest me. I was going to get my high school degree and I was going to be done with it. I didn't like school. I thought it was boring. Um, my concept of what school was, was showing up to like your classroom and you sat and you listened to your teacher talk for like six hours straight. You didn't talk to anyone else. You, you, you did your work and you just like desperately tried to take in the information they were presenting to you and like trying to stay conscious during the class. And I, I didn't want to keep doing that more than like what I had to. And most importantly, I didn't understand how school was benefiting me and make, making a difference in my life. I, I think a lot of times kids are told that like school is teaching you how to be like a functioning member of society. And I didn't see that. Like I would show up at, to like my algebra two class and like try to memorize the equations and just desperately try to understand how that was going to make a positive difference in my future. Um, and then in my sophomore year of high school, I signed up for a AP world history class. I had always loved history. So I was very excited to take a world history class just because in the past, most of my like education in history was US history. And I was really excited to learn like some new perspectives. So I like walked in on the first day of, of school and I experienced one of the most interesting classrooms I have ever like had. And it was run by a teacher named Mrs. Artington. And her classroom was not so much like lecture and note based, which is what I had experienced in the past. Instead, we did a lot of public speaking and group work, which I know are like the two nightmare words for like every high school student. I understand. I still get like a little anxious every time a professor says we're going to do a group presentation. I get it. But this different form of teaching honestly provided me with an opportunity to do a lot of self discovery and understand skills and like life skills that were going to make a difference in my future and just understand more about like my own qualities. So for instance, I learned that I really loved public speaking. In the past, I was very quiet. I didn't have a lot of opportunities to talk with my classmates, but I discovered I really liked having discussions with them and like lecturing and like reading articles and formulating my own opinion and getting to get up in front of them and tell them why I thought or felt a certain way and like hearing their response to that. I also learned that I like loved being a leader. In the past, I was very much like, hands off the wheel kind of a gal. I was told I didn't have leadership qualities. I wasn't very loud. I wasn't very demanding. And that that's what a good leader was. But through this class, I learned that like a leader doesn't necessarily need to be the loudest like voice in the room. Sometimes they're good listeners. So I, on the first day of class, showed up to my AP World History classroom and I sat in the back corner of the room because I panicked and I didn't know anyone else. And several other girls did the exact same thing. And throughout the entire class, I got to know them. I got to know what qualities they brought to the group and try to understand how those impacted our outcomes. And it was just like a really great experience. I loved getting to know people. And that was something I had never had the opportunity to explore in the past. I also learned to push myself beyond my comfort zone and learned that I could do that. Um, one time we had to create a song to the tune of like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and have it be like a history lesson about Napoleon. And getting up in front of like all of your peers and singing is very intimidating and kind of like super embarrassing. But when it was done, I understood that I could do a lot more 
than I thought I was capable of, but I also learned that there are different learning styles for students. Like I might be able to sit down and read a textbook and take notes and learn that way, but for other students that doesn't work and they find other things super engaging. And that was a really valuable lesson to me. Most importantly, I learned that I was interested in education. I saw that the environment that Ardington had set up allowed for students to work on themselves. I saw how she had allowed for me to learn more about myself and my interests and that, that her classroom had provided that other experience for students and that I wanted to provide a safe classroom environment where students felt comfortable making mistakes, exploring more about themselves and learning and pushing beyond what they're comfortable with. 